Are they going to social survive the sack for another week at least? We've beaten Everton at Goodson Park by three goals to one in the lunchtime kickoff. But within a month that, we still have a minus goal difference. And other teams play later on today and tomorrow, which means we'll be playing catch up even more. On to the goals, the first one. A punt up field by John Pickford. It goes to Bernard, he makes Wamba Zaka his bitch, just like Josh Kidd made him his bitch uh, last season. Goes in him on his legs and into the bottom corner. You're thinking, how is Man United going to respond? What's going to happen next? Are we going to capitulate or are we going to have the Lord Mayor show and try and uh, bail us ourselves out of the mire? And we did just that. We equalised. Porky Pick with the cross. You have to understand the sun was in Pickford's eyes. I think that's the only reason that Porky Pick crossed it and, and Pickford couldn't handle it and the two defenders as well. But Bruno comes in and invited... Uh, like the sandwich in the middle of the filling and plant head in the back of the net. We then get the second goal, Bruno Fernandes, goal and an assist. People thought it came off Rashford, it didn't, it came off the post and it went in the back of the net. Bit fortunate, but fortune favours the brave. And in the second half, I was so happy for Cavani. I was brimming from ear to ear, I'm thrilled to bits. He's got his first goal for Manchester United on the counter attack, simple tapping, easy as you like, exquisite finish, see you later, well done you, I'm so happy for him, and all those certain people who slagged off Cavani, where are you now, yeah, I don't want to see anybody celebrating that goal, if you're the one who slagged off um, Cavani, he's covered in quality, he's won leagues in France, he's won more league titles post Alex Ferguson than we have, and we're very lucky to have him. They said, didn't they, whoever they are, he wasn't good enough for Man United, they said. Sancho was the better option, they said. And guess what else they said? He was finished, they said. It was a panic buy, they said. Eh? What you say now, eh? He who laughs last, laughs longest. I thought McTominay was absolutely outstanding. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant performance, he shooted the back four, he can't pass it. And if you think he can't pass it, you need to go straight to Bannon Castle to test your eyes out like Dominic Cummins. Because you quite clearly can't see with your eyes, because you, you can't. Because you don't even know what you're talking about. He can pass it, he can probe it. But there's so many people who are footballing snobs. Oh, you can't do this. And to those who want Pochettino, you do realise, don't you, there was a game couple of seasons ago where he hoofed the ball forward to Lorente and he scored. So if you're thinking, oh, Posh plays this great football and get, if Oli gets sacked and he replaces him, you're wrong. You're very wrong. But I'm so happy for McTominay. He gives it 100%. He makes himself there, present, correct. He's got the mentality. He knows what it's like to play for Man United. You need that. And I hope, with the exception of Porky Pig, when Tellers comes back, he keeps the same side. You know, I'll never hear any slander on McTominay. You know, there's loads of people out there, but we know they've been brainwashed, you know. But I'll always protect him, I'll always defend him, and I'll always be there when he gets criticism. Because that's what you do with players. You have to defend him to the hill, and that's what I do. And there's loads of hypocrites in that fan base. But all in all, the moral of the story is, and the bottom line is, McTominay is a Man United player, or he trusts him, and there's nothing you can do about it. He's going to be there for hopefully the rest of the season. I couldn't be more happy for him. Sometimes, right, determination, grit, and, you know, lack of quality is better than players who have quality. I say about Martial, he is the male version of Tamira Foster. Forgot the words on the live shows, unprofessional to the core. Simon Cowell said, no, I'm not having you on my record label, because Simon Cowell wants people to work hard for him. And if you don't, you don't survive. Most of his artists who won the X Factor, be a runner-up or winner, get cast to the side because they don't want it enough. So, but Tomine, he is what he is. And he's a great player and you need players like that in the squad. You know, and that is all there is to it. That's not an opinion, it's a fact. Pope Hopper, come on. I didn't know this until it was said. Two goals in 44 games he's got for club and country. Can you believe that? I mean, you know, Pogba dropped. He needs to be dropped more. He does. He's not good enough for Man United. He is. We've seen it before. You know, we have. Uh, Porky Pig went off injured. 
No surprise there. He always seems to get injured. You know what I mean? You're putting on too much timber, lad. I, I hope Tellers has got a start when he comes back. I don't want to see Porky pick. It was a lucky cross anyway. Was it only because he couldn't see the sunlight pick with If he had his cap on, I don't think that cross goes in and I don't think we scored the equaliser, by the way. So just letting you know that. So, Ollie survives another week. But for me, his ceiling is now third. He's not going to get any better than that. Van Gaal's ceiling in the Premier League was fourth. And Jose Mourinho's ceiling was second. You know, we're still not getting top four. There's no way on this earth that Spurs are going to capitulate. And Arsenal said, there's no way. We're not going to get top four. We're still not going to win a trophy. And if we did get a new manager in, there will be a new manager bounce. We'll probably win the League Cup. And then he'll go, oh, Maguire's got his, uh, his first trophy. wan the same and all that. Proving the haters wrong. So, yeah. I want Posh to get another job. So that we can get Allegri when Oli does eventually go. And he will go. I'm fairly confident. I'm fairly, uh, fairly confident about it. You know, fairly relaxed about it. He will go. Because what else can he achieve at Man United? Absolutely nothing. We're not going to win anything under him. We're not going to win the Premier League. We're not going to win the European Cup. We're not going to win the League Cup or the FA Cup. We're screwed. But I don't want Poch. So it's a lesser of two evils keeping Oli. And Poch, you know, out of a job. I don't want him anywhere near Man United. He is garbage. Stay away from my club. I don't want anyone near Manchester United Football Club. Yeah? Stay in your lane. Don't want you United. I do not want Spurs rejects. You're a shit manager. You've won nothing. Don't you dare come to Man United. So that's my uh, uh, you know, recommendation for Posh Let's Go elsewhere. Hopefully when PSG sack their manager, Posh goes there. When Oli gets sacked, we get Allegri in. It's win-win.